How's it going guys? It's Country Tactical here with our first episode of Vintage Adventures. In this episode, we're going to be going to one of our most popular flea markets in the area. Now the goal is to pretty much gear up and get as much vintage gear as we can for $100. Okay, so if you haven't seen the trailer, which is on my channel, you can check it out. Well, Vintage Adventures is about exploring the world using older equipment and technologies from the early 1900s to 1920s. So pretty much we're looking for older backpacks, tools, and survivor gear. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get ready to head to the flea market. Are you ready, Corbin? By the way, if you don't know, this is Corbin. Yo. So what I'm gonna wear today is my good old shirt and just some blue jeans. Now, I do not have boots, but I do have the next best thing. I got some sneakers, which could be vintage. Now, the reason that they are called sneakers is because 100 years ago, when these rubber-soled shoes were first introduced, they were so quiet compared to leather-soled shoes that they were called sneakers because you could pretty much sneak around. So yeah, you just learned a vintage fact from Country Tactical on Vintage Adventures. He got the blue sneakers as well. Anyways, let's head off. Let's go. Let's get to our let's get to our car. So we're in the truck right now and we're on our way the first Monday. My Jeep's still in the shop so I can't take that sadly. So the next best adventure car we have is the truck. I don't think we've ever seen this field. Yeah, look at it. It is so full and it's dude. Where is it? Pass it on. So I got my hundred. I'm about to go ahead and go. I gotta put on my jacket because it is really chilly out there. Let's go and see what we can find. We're heading off. We got him in his <laughs> hat. He's super embarrassed to wear it. I got my jacket on. It looks so bad and baggy right now. So we both kind of look bad. I don't know. Okay, as you can see, there's different things. Like, you can probably find several like old pots and pans that we can use right over there. Look at all these antiques. Mm -hmm. Old tools and everything. I know. Sewing machine. Look at that. We're heading in. Sit it, sit it. Thing. Look at all that stuff. Oh, Cameras and everything. Look at all this stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at these hatches. I mean, 35. Really nice. You could go online, you can't find anything like this. I like this little one, look at this. That is so cool. This is like, you carve stuff with this. Just everything. Mm -hmm. It's a little trench knife. Okay. This is a freaking Goliath. It's dude. massive. It's bigger than me. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to use some of these when we're building stuff, because it's pretty much a power tool. Mm -hmm. For pistol cartridges. This is all like cowboy stuff, right? Yeah. I wonder what this is. Oh, yeah, guns. Hex bar muskets. Look, they have a spring thing right there. M1 grain. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Well, we exited the Civic Center for now. We're just gonna look around at some more antiques, so. Yeah. See what we can find. Dude, yeah. look at these ha helmets. That's actually pretty Oh cool. my gosh, is this some Bulgarian helmet? Could be. It's the SS right there. Oh my gosh, dude, that's so cool. Pro helmet, but still. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this has been repainted or something. Yeah, it doesn't look 
Like two rest of them. Oh my gosh, look at the gas mask. I know, it's so annoying. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at all this wet dude. Some cartridge pockets. Let's see the date on this one. This is 46, I think. Yeah. Oh, this is World War I. It's like the metal cap. Oh, yeah, it's metal cap. Yeah. But there's pistol belts. That's what we need. Dude. Yes. Oh my dude. It's a crag band. Right? As you can see. Looks nice. How much are the pistol belts? This one. This one? Oh, this one. I'll wait a minute. $32. This whole package is $30, which is really nice. The whole thing? Yeah. Usually, pistol belts alone are $30. And yeah. it even has a metal thing in it. Yeah. That looks kind of cruddy, but you do get a canteen with it. Yeah. I have each one, the thirty dollars. It's your turn. Let's go find a backpack or something. Bye bye helmets. Well, wait. Look at the crate. You can't take that on your adventure. Thank you. That's cool. I've always wanted a big old wooden crate, but I bet it's expensive. Yeah. Really expensive. How's it look? Uh, well, it's sagging. A lot. First item acquired, canteen with canteen cover, pistol belt. Not only that, I got the little thing that you can eat off with. So this is a really good deal. Look at this stuff. These are really good. Mm -hmm. We could probably get these later on though. Yeah. This, dude. Make some ice cream. Mm -hmm. Some ice cream in the shop. So much stuff. We found a bunch of military stuff. Tons crates. and tons of crates. 35 bucks and you get this. Oh, this is synthetic. I can feel it. It's plastic. <laughs> there, most of the stuff is modern though. $12. So it'll be our wild animal defense. There's some stuff in here. As we were wandering around, something crazy happened. Bro. Okay, I'm not even joking. You can go angle. We're walking by and I looked at this because I thought I found a backpack. And they gave it to us for free. We didn't and have it on too. camera. We got both of this. For free. And I got a little canteen in here for free. I'm not even joking. It's like, it's just so crazy because we literally went to go look at the backpack. We didn't have it recording, which is sucked. Mm -hmm. But we were checking it out. We was under this little bench, and as soon as we picked it up, the guy was just like, "You can take it, take it." And he gave us that pistol belt as well. So we were both really shocked. But I can show you. I saw my money. <laughs> it looked like he was packing up, but I still so, still got all my money left and like a few more. But he literally just gave it to us for free. I wish you would, we would have recorded that, but <laughs> it would have been awkward. Yeah. I literally just found my kit backpack for free. He's just like, take it. He's packing up, and I guess he didn't want it anymore. Yeah. I guess it wouldn't sell, and he just gave it to us. Why is it so sad? I don't know. That is so cool. We got webbing and a backpack. This backpack's canvas, too. So I had to spend no money. I, we still have so much, and I got my backpack. Hey, literally, look at the backpack. It is amazing. We got that for free. I'm still so surprised. It has leather straps, it's canvas. It's nice, we need to supple up the leather a little bit, but overall it's good for being free. <laughs> Dude, I can get more survival kit since I already got my backpack. Let's go try to find utensils and stuff. We're probably gonna have to cut out the audio. This is like the other one, but it's just a little bit different. How much does this cost? It's 40. 40? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Little survival rifle, dude. That could fit in your big bag. Yeah, take it Yeah, to survive. Mm -hmm. And then just put it together. What do you think? Uh, oh. yeah. There you go, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey. Survival canteen. Might have to replace the cap. Yeah, because it is plastic. I mean, uh, it's not. But the rest is all yeah. natural, so it's 
good. It's canvas and everything ain't metal. Looking good. So we eventually went back to the guy who sold us that canteen since it was such a good deal. We're about to buy it. It doesn't have a cloth on it. Oh, is, is it just a piece yeah, of there, uh, in it? There it is. Alright, so it's 10 for both. You got it, Toyota. Alright. Tim can rid of this shit. We got this, another pack for three dollars, and we got this cut right here. Another cut. I literally have no idea. We're probably gonna have to take this to the truck. This was all thirteen bucks. That's first Monday for you. I can't believe we got this. These olden cots, like all wood, all natural materials. Like, look at this canvas. Yeah. Dude, this is, has to be made in like the 60s or something. We got it for $13, all this stuff. So we just put the cots in the truck. Now we're going back to look for more myth survival gear and just whatever we can find that's vintage to how you look at. So we've got the backpacks. I mean, what else can we get? Let's go back to that one guy who gave us the cot and try to get a canteen or something. So that's extra stuff that we can use. We went back and found an awesome hatchet, either from World War One or World War Two. Went back to the same dealer that we got the cots and stuff from, and I saw this, and I'm not too sure if this is a World War One axe or not, but I got it for ten dollars. So I mean, we can still use it for survival and whatnot. So it's pretty good. Now we go back again and something even cooler happens. $20 bill. Yeah, we asked the guy about the crate expecting a lot, but to our surprise, it was only $20. 20. That's pretty good shape. Got the tray and everything. Um, what you will have to do is watch this. You have to tighten it up up here on the front a little. Other than that. That's all you gotta do. Just talk about this other crate that we saw for $55. It's like a fraction of the size and not even the right color. Okay, so we just got a big crate from the same dude that wants to sell everything so cheaply. I got this for bucks. $20 for this big old crate, this foot locker dude. But oh my gosh, we're getting everything from them. Okay, well, we went back for a fourth time just because the guy's deals were so good and we got an extra backpack for extra storage or an extra guy if he comes along with us. So we just went back to that one dude that was giving us the really good deals and we bought this Boy Scouts backpack for $5. It's the last thing we're gonna get from him. <laughs> we really need some mess kit stuff. So first Monday is pretty much closed. All the vendors are pretty much shutting down. It's like past five, that's when it closes. Mess kit wise, there's nothing really good, but backpack wise, Wise, we got four backpacks. We got a lot of stuff and we didn't spend everything. So yeah, we're probably gonna go hit up some antique stores. It was five and pretty much all the vendors were shutting down for the night. Vintage adventurers out. Well, head, head to the antique, antique stores. stores. We were using our secret GoPros so they wouldn't notice filming. Ladies. On further looking, we found this. Mess kit. <laughs> US utensils and stuff. This is big and it's good because we can both use it. And there's a bowl, spatula. <gasps> US 19. 44. I don't even know if you can see that. Oh yeah. Candles are right mm -hmm. 
you have a great weekend. You too. You too. The mess kit was all we really could find from the antique store, so now we're headed home. We're headed home. So right here is everything that we got from first Monday. As you can tell, it's a lot, and we still failed the $200 challenge. We spent around $152, somewhere around that in total, and we got all this due to some really good deals and just, you know, a lucky visit. Because sometimes you can get, like, nothing out of first Monday, and other times you can strike gold, pretty much like we did today. So the two free items that we got are my kit backpack, which is really nice, and this like pistol belt but it's all modern it's all plastic you can feel it so we're not able to use that this world war one pistol belt that we got with the canteen was only thirty dollars this canteen has everything included which is the cup and the canteen itself so it's a really nice deal we got this boy scout backpack for three dollars that boy scout backpack for five it's a bit better condition we got these two cots here for what ten dollars for both that's a heck of a deal we just need to replace the canvas Tops and this one doesn't even have canvas. Yeah. We got an $8 canteen with a plastic screw. All we need to do is replace it so it'll work a lot better and we can use it in our series. So, yeah. This is the $8 mess kit that we got from the antique store with all these utensils that we can use. It says this was made in 1944, so it's World War II. That's really good. We also got the little lid for it for eight bucks. Now, for $10, we have a hatchet that's might be World War One or World War II. I'm not too sure, but we got it for ten dollars, which is a heck of a deal. Now we also have this forty-dollar backpack, but there's one problem with it. So after we bought it, we were feeling on it and we didn't notice, but this leather is synthetic, and the straps on the backpack are also synthetic because you can see by the melting on them that they're not real natural materials. So we can't use this, and this was forty dollars, so we. It's kind of a waste, but I went back to First Monday the next day, and I remember seeing the first day that there was this all-natural material backpack, but we didn't see it because most of the vendors hadn't cleared out in time when we bought that one. But I went back. Ow. I, I pulled my hip flexor. That's kind of hurt. But I went back, and I found this natural material backpack. I didn't record getting it because I didn't know if it would be there. But we got this and this is his new uh, kit backpack. As you can see, it's all really nice. Now one of the best deals that we got is this huge crate, this foot locker for $20. That's all we paid. And we looked on the date and it says is made in 1943. So that's pretty crazy. We got all of this for $152. All this nice kit that we can use to adventure and explore with. Heck of a steal and we can use it. I mean, it's really nice. So yeah, it should aid us well in our soon to come adventures. That pretty much wraps up our first video of Vintage Adventures. I hope you guys liked it. Sorry if the first episode was kind of like the camera angles are a little bit bad. That's just because it's our first episode. We don't really know what to expect when we're out in public. I mean, that's pretty much the first time I've ever recorded in public, the both of us. So yeah, yeah it was a bit of an experience. Also, if you heard some whining in the background when we are recording going over the gear, it's because we have little puppies. Our dog that you see in most of the videos had little puppies, as you can see. It looks just like them. Little baby. Subscribe for more puppy videos. <laughs> Hello, subscribers. Look how cute this little puppy is. Why so cute? On the next episode, we're pretty much going to be fixing up the gear and getting it ready to be traveled with and putting it together on our kit just to make sure it works up and we could maybe do like a test adventure and go somewhere. So yeah, be prepared for that. Also, we do have a Patreon page if you'd like to help fund vintage adventures and allow us to do more videos like this. The link is in the description. Please check it out if you want to help. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Vintage Adventures out. Out.